A memory is just like a human brain. It is used to store data and instructions. Computer memory is the storage space in the computer, where day 2 is to be processed and instructions required for processing are stored. The memory is divided into large number of small parts called cells. Each location or cell has a unique address, which varies from 0 to memory size minus 1. For example, if the computer has 64,000 words, then this memory unit has 64 times 1024 equals 65,536 memory locations. The address of these locations varies from 0 to 65,535. Computer memory is any physical device capable of storing information temporarily, like random access memory, or permanently, like read-only memory. Memory devices utilize integrated circuits and are used by operating systems, software, and hardware. How is memory used? When a program, such as your internet browser, is open, it is loaded from your hard drive and placed into RAM. This process allows that program to communicate with the processor at higher speeds. Anything you save to your computer, such as a picture or video, is sent to your hard drive for storage. Why is memory important or needed for a computer? Each device in a computer operates at different speeds and computer memory gives your computer a place to quickly access data. If the CPU had to wait for a secondary storage device, like a hard disk drive, a computer would be much slower. Memory can be either volatile and non-volatile memory. Volatile memory is memory that loses its contents when the computer or hardware device loses power. Computer RAM is an example of volatile memory. It is why if your computer freezes or reboots when working on a program, you lose anything that hasn't been saved. Non-volatile memory, sometimes abbreviated as NVRAM, is memory that keeps its contents even if the power is lost. EPROM is an example of non-volatile memory. Primary storage is the collective methods and technologies used to capture and retain digital information that is in active use and critical for an organization's operations. Primary storage data is frequently accessed by applications or other hardware systems and business users. Regardless of the number of tiers storage, the primary tier is typically reserved for transactional data or mission-critical application data that requires high performance. Random Access Memory RAM is used to store the programs and data being used by the CPU in real time. The data on the random access memory can be read, written, and erased any number of times. RAM is the hardware element where the data being currently used is stored. It is a volatile memory. Types of RAM Static RAM which stores a bit of data using the state of a 6 transistor memory cell. Dynamic RAM, which stores a bit data using a pair of transistor and capacitor which constitute a DRAN memory cell. Read-only memory is a type of memory where the data has been pre-recorded. Data stored in ROM is retained even after the computer is turned off that is non-volatile. Types of ROM, programmable, where the data is written after the memory chip has been created. It is non-volatile. Erasable programmable, where the data on this non-volatile memory chip can be erased by exposing it to high-intensity UV light. Types of ROM, electrically erasable programmable ROM, where the data on this non-volatile memory chip can be electrically erased using field electron emission. 
mass chrom in which the data is written during the manufacturing of the memory chip secondary storage is used for data that is less frequently accessed or no longer accessed at all examples of secondary storage include devices or systems used to store backup data a second copy of current primary data and archival data which is rarely if ever accessed since secondary data has limited immediate usefulness and is infrequently accessed it is often referred to as data at rest hard disk drive is made up of a series of circular disks called platters arranged one over the other almost 1/2 inches apart around a spindle disks are made of non-magnetic material like aluminum alloy and coated with 10 to 20 nanometers of magnetic material standard diameter of these disks is 14 inches and they rotate with speeds varying from 4200 revolutions per minute rotations per minute for personal computers to 15000 revolutions per minute for servers data is stored by magnetizing or demagnetizing the magnetic coating a magnetic reader arm is used to read data from and write data to the disks a typical modern hdd has capacity in terabytes tb CD stands for compact disc. CDs are circular discs that use optical rays, usually lasers, to read and write data. They are very cheap as you can get 700 megabytes of storage space for less than a dollar. CDs are inserted in CD drives built into CPU cabinet. They are portable as you can eject the drive, remove the CD and carry it with you. There are three types of CDs minus CD-ROM, compact disk, read-only memory, minus the data on these CDs are recorded by the manufacturer. Proprietary software, audio or video are released on CD-ROMs. CD-R, compact disk, recordable, minus data can be written by the user once on the CD-R. It cannot be deleted or modified later. CD-RW, compact disk. Rewritable minus data can be written and deleted on these optical disks again and again. DVD stands for digital video display. DVD are optical devices that can store 15 times the data held by CDs. They are usually used to store rich multimedia files that need high storage capacity. DVDs also come in three varieties: read-only, recordable, and rewritable. Pen drive is a portable memory device that uses solid-state memory rather than magnetic fields or lasers to record data. It uses a technology similar to RAM, except that it is non-volatile. It is also called USB drive. key drive or flash memory